ってはいとこういう止まったってだからその辺がどう面会のすり上げるのそうもうパッと言うねえせんもう早く,もう早く
行こうとするから、うつが遅くなるんだよ。
So, I think I'll kiss it. I think I'll kiss it. So, your opponent attacks. Can I? And then you go. Okay, no, right. that's not how it's supposed to be done. So, do what? Men kaisi do. That would be men kaisi do. I think a man could. Men. So, you parry and repose. Nukido wa? Nukido. Degashira men, degashira kote to unna de. It's the same as degashira men and degashira kote. Degashira no do na. It is a degashira do. Degashira do na, dare mo yuwa nai. But no one will call it that. Kido ga yo. You've never heard it called that, right? I never heard. Yeah. That's my work. So, degashira no yo ni, aite ga so just like a degashira waza, when the other person is about to attack, that's the opening you aim for. So if your semi is not good, then just like that, the other person doesn't move. So you've got to make it look like you're going to go for men. So if you do that, this person should automatically and naturally raise their shin up. So that's nukido. So the best is if you can use this feeling in order to make your opponent attack men. So that if you close your distance, the other person is going to come in. So use that to your advantage. Like this. And the problem is, is that if you go in too easily like this, then you'll run the risk of getting hit yourself. So here. You enter, make the opponent attack so that you can go for do. If the other person takes a step back when you advance, so you can go ahead, go for men. If the other person doesn't do anything, you strike men. If he tries to react, then you go for what's open. And so if he tries to block men, you go for doll. Or go for kote. So this is seven. You are trying to make your opponent react to you. This is not seven. <laughs> this is just simply closing distance. <laughs> you need to be actually trying to strike something. That will force your opponent to react. And then you can go for something open like, say, kote. <laughs> That's something that you have to be able to think about and see in a moment. So, he went, he brought his hands up and he tried to bring them up too far for me to hit Kote, but it wasn't enough. So, he fails at that. So, what you need to do is then try something different. So, like this. And this is men, men, men. So that's what Nidan and Sandan Wazas are. So you go for man and you parry. And go again and he parries again. So now his door is open, 
So now he realizes his door is open. So that's why he goes for door. And he's going to try to block it. Come on. If you don't block it, I'm going to hit you. He knew that. That's why he would try that, but too late. So that's what striking until you land a strike is about. So that's why it's two, or three, or four strikes in a row. So you force your opponent to panic and not know what he's doing. Because the person that's attacking is the one that has the initiative. He's the one that controls what's going to happen. The main guy to the door. That's why the timing was the door. So you alter the timing a little so that you can go for the kote or door. In order to be able to do that, you need to be able to move smoothly. You can't do that unless you relax your upper body. So that's why, Gary, these kinds of techniques are impossible for you right now. So everything is about controlling the timing. Right. So you have to come up with a timing so that your strikes will land. See, this isn't about deceiving your opponent. This is about putting yourself in a position where you can attack. So if the other person is strong, then he could go for my kote instead. So what I'm doing though is I'm surprising Shin and that's why he's surprised, he doesn't know what's coming, so he tries to cover everything. So it's about taking advantage of that time. And you don't do the same thing twice. So go try for going to the Maybe go for door. Mm. So, so, this is something that you can do during tournaments, but make sure that you don't do them during promotion exams. Because this is no good even for a shodan level. Now, if you're doing just a regular katsugi, man, that's fine. But if you stop like this, it's not good. However, it is very good for tournament matches. So, you make it look like you're about to attack, but you don't. So that's one way to do it. Okay. So, you do it two times. So, I make it look like I'm going to go for the door. And then I actually go for men. So this is another way. Make it look like I'm going to go for men. If you don't make it obvious to your opponent 
they're not going to react the way that you want them to. You need to make sure that you take the initiative to make your opponents react the way you want them to. So that one was at the point. So go to the second one. So go like this. Maybe you think that you need to so you need to really be thinking about what techniques you've already done. So, if, the, if it doesn't work the first time, your opponent is going to think, oh, he's going to try it again because the first time didn't take. So, because he thinks, because he feels threatened by another man, he's going to try to block it, which leaves him open for dole. Or maybe you can go for kote. And if he blocks like this, I'm going to get the right. So, what's up? Okay. So, you can only do that if you're actually thinking about what you're going to do. So that's why the idea of mushi is not actually accurate. Mushi so mushin is like if I'm about to go for men. I want to, I'm going to go for men, and I'm thinking of getting a point for men. And it gets blocked. It's me reacting to an opening that's presented without consciously having planned for it. So, because the minute the clock door is now open, I'm going to attack door. So, if you come out here, and I go here, and go, try to go for Kote, this would be Mushin, uh, Kote with Mushin. It's not, it's not the kote that he had planned to attack. It's a kote that he attacked in reaction to it being open. Attack kote. See, this isn't a point. Because I'm not reacting or moving, I'm remaining unfazed. So, because he attacked Kote with the full intention of attacking Kote from the start. So, that's not the problem. Okay. Wanting to attack Kote from the start is fine. So, you wanted to hit strike Kote, but the timing never matched up. But, you're aiming for it. So, the other person doesn't let you attack Kote, but you're aiming for it. But just like this, you needed to be able to react as soon as the opening presented itself. So, so can't just think about trying to hit Kote. But you have no chance to do it. 
but you have to be able to parry if the other person comes mad. No. What you need to do is be aiming for going for Kote as soon as it comes over. So, this is Mushin. That's why he is to see how. So, if you were to try to strike a regular Kote now. See how it has no sharpness and it's not good. But if he's really aiming for it, so aim for Kote. So this is Kote with Mushi. That's why it's sharp and it's fast. So, if you're able to do that without having uh, aimed for it in the first place, that's eighth level. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's really accurate though, because there's plenty of hachidans that I see where they're trying to hit something. <laughs> the difference though is that they can project a sense of, come on, you have to attack. And if you don't, then I'm going to hit you. So come on, come on, come on, man. So this is what uh, Hachidan level is like. Hachidan doesn't have this sort of like, I'm going to attack, I'm going to attack you. So come on. They've got a sense of, no, come on, you have to attack. So, while I can talk about this, I can't do this yet consistently. So, more difficult is being able to do that against a person of the same level. So that's why when you take your sixth round exam, you're going to be taking the exam with other people that are trying to go for that same level. So that's what you need to be practicing. That's fine if you want, if you're thinking about, okay, I'm going to go for that, I'm going to attack. So, I think at first you think, okay, I'm going to go for Kote, and after that you don't put much thought into it. What you're thinking about after that is about your timing. So that's all, that's all you need to be thinking about. If you think about, okay, I'm going to go for men, all you have to do then is think about aiming for that type of door, like this. And if my sword point is stronger, when I go out, when I go forward, push down, push down. And I can go from that. So do you understand? So thinking is not necessarily a bad thing. The problem is when you're always thinking the same thing over and over again. So if you think, okay, I'm going to do kote men and try to get the point on the men, that's all you need to think about it, and then just simply aim for getting into that kote men and look for that timing. So if he semes, so this is when you should come from kote and then. That's because you're thinking that you're going to go for Kote Men. If you semi, 